Welcome to the phone scoop review of the Samsung T509 for T-Mobile. Because of this phone's size, thin profile, and features, people are going to compare it to Motorola's Sliver L6. And that's cool because this phone matches up well to the L6, and even bests it when you consider ease of use. The T509 has a large bright screen, but it's not quite bright enough to easily be seen in direct sunlight. The keypad is large and well-spaced and easy to text with. On the thin left side are volume keys, which always adjust the speaker volume, something fewer phones do than you'd think. On the right is a sliding door that covers the headset and charging port, and the camera button, which starts up the VGA camera on the back. The camera is solid, but it doesn't have many fancy features, or even a flash. The battery lasts about three days with average use, and the antenna is strong enough to pass our bank fault test. Honestly, it's hard to find something the T509 doesn't do well, especially when you consider T-Mobile is selling this phone for 50 bucks with the contract in rebates. There are shortcuts for most common tasks from the home screen, so you won't need the main menu much, but if you do, here's what you'll see. There's a handy help guide. MSN, Yahoo, and AOL IM applications are included here, but we were never able to sign on from this phone. And in the fun and apps are most of the useful things you'll want to access. Click on Organizer to dig up your alarm clock, calendar, calculator, and more. In addition to the obvious stuff, the Settings menu is also where you go to get Bluetooth working. The T509 supports more than just headsets. You can use the phone as a Bluetooth modem for your laptop, or send files like pictures, movies, and business cards between the phone and your computer. Back at the home screen, hit left on the D-pad and you're writing a new message. No muss, no fuss, no waiting. The big keys in responsive phone make tapping out your text easy. We fly through the phone scoop test. You can choose an address from the phone book, type one in, or check the list of people who you've texted recently. Once you've selected a person, it seems like there's an extra button tap or two in here to actually send the message off, but this still goes pretty quick. Although the web browser shortcut is labeled T-Zones, it's not just limited to T-Mobile's site. You can go to any website out there. However, you can't use this browser to go to desktop websites. Once you're online, you can type in the URL or select a page from your favorites. Web pages like PhoneScoop's mobile site load pretty quickly, and once we click through to the news headlines, you can see that text is clear, large, and easy to read. The T509's camera is VGA, 640 by 480 just like the slivers, which is just fine since this one takes decent pictures. There aren't an overwhelming number of options in the camera menu, but there's enough like a night mode, which is useful for taking pictures in dark bars since there's no flash, as well as color effects and goofy picture frames if you miss going to the Japanese photo booth. In the viewfinder, pressing right or left adjusts the zoom, while up and down controls the brightness. It's nice that Samsung made these common functions easily accessible. Once you snap a picture, it's quickly saved, and then you can do almost anything with it right from the review screen. There are a number of options, including sending it to an online album, which is like a Moblog hosted by T-Mobile. Well, that's all for this time. We hope this helped. See you again soon.